Today, we're going to talk about the settings of Windows Magnifier. In my last video, I went over the basics of how to use Windows Magnifier. If you want to learn more about that, you can watch that video. First, we're going to open up Magnifier by pressing the keyboard shortcut Windows plus sign to bring up the toolbar. You can get to Magnifier settings by clicking on the cogwheel at the far right side. Initially, it'll open up this small dialog box. This controls the small built-in screen reader for Magnifier that reads words when you control alt left click on sentences that you wanted to read. This controls the speed and the voice of that narration if you use that with Windows Magnifier. We are going to click on the option at the bottom that says go to settings. This will bring up the magnifier settings. Alternatively, you can also open up magnifier settings by pressing Windows Control M to bring up the settings. That hotkey also works when magnifier is not on, if you want to bring up the settings that way. The first setting you'll see is the toggle on whether to turn magnifier off or on. If you click on that option, it will bring up a drop down that has two options on it. Start magnifier before sign in and start magnifier after sign in. If you want, you can select either of these two options to have magnifier start when you turn on your computer or right after you sign in to have it automatically up for use on your computer. The second option controls the zoom level for zooming in or out. You can also click on that option to bring up another drop down which has the option for the zoom increments. By default, it's set to 100%. So each time you zoom in, it goes in by 100%. However, you might find that that is a little jarring to zoom in that far that quickly. You can switch it to something lower. Personally, I have it set to 10%, so I can easily zoom in gradually to get a better view of what I'm zooming into and to fine tune how far I want to zoom in. The third option is the view, which switches between full screen, docked, and lens view. It also shows the keyboard shortcuts to get to those modes as well. And in the Description of the other options, it also has the keyboard shortcuts for those as well. On the third option here, view, when you click on it, that brings you to another menu where you can again choose which mode you want Windows Magnifier to be in. And some of the options will change depending on which mode it is currently in. For instance, if you click on Lens View, you can change the size of the lens, whether that is changing the width of the lens or the height of the lens to fine tune what you want that to look like. If you go to full screen, you will see that it has options for you to, to select what you want magnifier to follow. By default, it follows everything from your mouse pointer, your keyboard focus of whatever you're typing into, and it follows the text cursor of what you're typing, and the narrator cursor if you're using the built-in screen reader for magnifier. Another option is 
where you want magnifier to keep your mouse pointer. By default, it keeps the pointer within the edges of the screen. So when you zoom in and you move to the edges, that's when magnifier will move around the screen to follow your mouse cursor. You can also switch that to the center of the screen, which I have it to, where it will keep your pointer dead center. And when you move the cursor, the magnifier view moves. I find that easier to keep it that way because I can navigate the screen better. That works for me. And the last option on the view menu is where you want to keep the text cursor. Again, by default, it's within the edge of the screen, but you can also center it on the screen. So when you're typing, it will follow the cursor as you type in the letters. Going back to the magnifier settings, there is also the invert color option that will invert the colors. Doesn't really work too well on lighter colors, at least for me, the, this would be very easy to see, but that's how you invert colors. It also shows you the keyboard shortcuts for that. And lastly, there is smooth edges of images and text. What that does is it tries to smooth out the jagged and pixelated edges of text and images when you zoom in far enough. Right now I have it turned on, so everything looks a bit smooth and easier to look at, more pleasing to the eye. But if I turn it off, if the recording picks it up or not, you will notice that if I zoom in a bit more, you will see that the edges become very, very jagged and pixelated. But if I turn it on, it helps keep the edges smooth and makes for a better viewing experience of what is on your computer monitor. Here you will find the reading shortcuts to activate magnifiers, built-in bare bones screen reader. And you can also switch the shortcuts it uses. By default, it's control alt, but you can switch that to caps lock, insert, or caps lock or insert to make activating these keyboard shortcuts easier for you if you use the screen reader along with magnifier regularly. And those are all the options for magnifier. As you probably noticed throughout the video, magnifier is a very bare bones program. It's very simplified, however, the options are here for you to customize it in certain ways. It is a screen magnifier, so all it does is magnify the screen. In it being so simple and having these simple options, that makes Windows Magnifier an easy to use program for those who want to use it. It's available in every Windows machine and it's there for everyone to use. I hope that helped you out. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and check out one of my other videos. Thanks.